Hey guys, welcome to the show. This is Gumdrop Readers, the channel where I read books to young kids. Today we're reading Peppa Pig and the Vegetable Garden. I hope you guys enjoyed today's story. Okay, here we are on page one. Peppa Pig and her little brother George are playing at Grandpa Pig and Granny Pig's house. They love to help Grandpa Pig in the garden. What are you doing, Grandpa Pig? said asked Peppa. I'm planting seeds. What happens to the seeds? They grow into plants, and I make a small hole in the ground, put the seed inside, and cover it with earth. Then I water it. Everything in my garden grows from seeds just like this. Bonk! Ouch! says Grandpa Pig. An apple had fallen on his head. Peppa and George laugh. Grandpa laughs too. Look, he says, inside this apple are more seeds. To grow more apple trees, says Peppa. I want to plant a seed, Peppa says. She makes a little hole and puts the seed in. Then she covers the seed with earth. Grandpa lets her water it. Now we wait for it to grow, he says. Peppa waits. George waits. They wait and wait and wait. It's not doing anything, says Peppa. Grandpa Pig laughs. You have to be very, very patient. Ah! What's this? says Peppa. It's a monster! Monster, says George. Grandpa laughs. It's just a little snail. Grrr, says George. Monster! He likes the snail. Let's play snails, says Peppa. Grandpa Pig finds some baskets for Peppa and George, and they play snails in the garden. Look, says Peppa, a butterfly. Why do butterflies love flowers? They drink from flowers, says Grandpa Pig. They drink the flower's nectar. It's their food. Look at me, I'm playing butterfly, Peppa shouts. George wants to be a butterfly, too. No, George, I'm a butterfly. You can play worm. George doesn't want to play worm. Come on, George, says Grandpa Pig. Playing worm is fun. Grandpa Pig shows George how to lie on the ground and wiggle. Hee hee hee. Soon Peppa wants to play worm, too. Grandpa plants some more seeds. He drops them on the ground, and when he turns around, a little bird is eating them. Shoo, shoo, says Grandpa. Shoo, shoo. Granny Pig comes to see. We need a scarecrow, she says. Grandpa Pig brings Peppa and George to his garden shed. We'll find lots of things in here to make a scarecrow with, he says. He finds sticks, string, and some straw, and an old sack. They build the scarecrow, then dress it in some old clothes. Peppa and George paint on the face. The birds see the scarecrow, and they stop eating Grandpa's seeds. Oh, the birds look sad, said Peppa. They must be hungry. Granny Pig brings out a bird feeder. Lunchtime, birds, she calls. Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig have come. Granny Pig needs blackberries to make pie for lunch. Everybody wants to help. The blackberry bush has been here since I was a little girl, says Mummy Pig. Mummy Pig climbs the ladder to get to the berries at the top. Oh no! Mummy Pig falls into the bush. Where is she? Mummy Pig is okay, but she looks like a berry bush. Peppa and George pick berries from the mummy bush. Grandpa Pig, Peppa, and George finish picking be vegetables for lunch. They make a salad. Granny Pig cuts up a cucumber. I love cucumbers, says Peppa. Yuck, says George. He doesn't like salad. Grandpa has an idea. He gives George a new plate. Dinosaur, says George. He eats the salad and he likes it. He loves Granny Pig's blackberry pie too. Yum, yum, yum. The end. Well, that was Peppa Pig and the Vegetable Garden. I hope you guys enjoyed that story. If you haven't already, don't forget to check out my podcast. All you have to do is search Gumdrop Readers on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, or any of your other favorite listening platforms. If you would like to support the podcast, you can donate with the link in the description box below. If you'd like to choose the next book to be read on the Gumdrop Readers podcast or YouTube channel, you can send me an email, including your name, your age, and your book request. Ask an adult to help you send your email to gumdropreaders at gmail.com. Again, the podcast email is gumdropreaders at gmail.com. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video, and I'll see you next time.